Hello, I'm Professor Lorena Barba. I teach a course called Engineering Computations, and we use Python. Because students have heard of other programming languages used in the engineering context, I think it's important that I motivate a little bit some of the choices that we have made with this course. Python is one of the most popular programming languages, and as such, Python gives you access to a very large community and many job opportunities. One of the leading indicators of the popularity of a programming language is PyBall. And this is a ranking made out of the number of tutorial searches people make on Google. The proportion of Python searches is more than 30% right now. And uh, the popularity of Python is not only greater, but it has been growing consistently through the years. Here we see three popular programming languages talked about in engineering contexts. You see Python has reached 30% and it overtook Java uh, some a couple of years ago, which is remarkable because Java is the language used to develop Android applications all over the world. A March 2020 article in Wired highlighted just how popular Python can be. Google, Dropbox, Instagram, all the major technology companies rely heavily on Python. You may ask though, is Python good for engineering? And the answer is yes. Python, first of all, is free and open source. If you happen to graduate and want to form a company, for example, free is good. And why is open source important? Well, because open source software is developed by communities uh, that work in a distributed fashion to create value together. Um, it's almost like an alternative to market capitalism. Imagine people who are working together and contributing their work so that they add value to everyone else, making everybody more productive. Everybody wins. With Python, you can handle very large data sets, much larger than you could handle with spreadsheet applications such as Excel. And you can also do array operations with the NumPy library. Array operations allow us to handle vectors and matrices and tensors, which are at the core of engineering computations. You can create beautiful plots with the matplotlib library, and all these tools are free and open source. And also on top of that, engineers have created libraries such as Cantera and one that is used for chemical kinetics, thermodynamics and combustion applications. And like that, you can find many other open source applications that are used in science and engineering. And of course, all the modern software frameworks for machine learning and AI. In engineering computations, our course, we also use Jupyter. This is an open source project that includes an ecosystem of tools for interactive computing from the browser. At the center of this ecosystem is the Jupyter Notebook. This is a document that allows you to mix text, multimedia content formatted using Markdown and code with its output in the same document to create what we call a computational narrative. Jupyter Notebook also has exploded in popularity in recent years. Here is a graph of the number of notebooks that are publicly hosted on github.com since 2014. The number is now reaching 10 million. So let me show you a Jupyter Notebook. Here is an example of a notebook and I can show you that uh, here in this drop down menu, I can choose between a markdown and a code cell. Markdown is a way to create formatted text. Here I'm going to double click on this cell to show you that inside we have one hash to create a heading. We have double asterisks to create bolded text, and we can also create beautiful equations with LaTeX. I am going to click on this run button to show you the rendered text one more time. This is a code cell, and here we can import our favorite libraries for engineering computations, NumPy for arrays, matplotlib for beautiful plots. I can show you here that we've created two arrays, one of which contains the sum of a sine and cosine of uh, the values 
in the array x and we're able to create this beautiful plot with the simple pyplot.plot command. And as such, you can do many other um, types of typical workflows that are used in engineering settings. This is a simple Jupyter Notebook just to show you what it is. And I hope you come to the next video.